Okay, so last time we covered Buckley Leverett theory and we did it really quickly, like in half a lecture, whereas in Res 2 you spent weeks on it, right? So, um, really the only reason we even covered in this class is because it is the sort of go to solution for multi phase flow for the verification of a reservoir simulator. So, if you stay, uh, stay here for graduate school and you go on to develop your own, you know, uh, sophisticated multi-phase theory, and you get into your defense, uh, your master's thesis defense, or, or your PhD dissertation defense, and Dr. Lake is on your committee, he's absolutely going to ask you to compare your theory, your simulation results, to Buckley Lever. So, uh, you know, it, it's sort of the go-to verification. And, you know, even though a lot of times we design very much more sophisticated theories, um, we can usually simplify them down such that we can, should recover some sort of Buckley Leverett in a, th in a limit, okay? Um, there are a lot of assumptions in Buckley Leverett, one of them being no capillary pressure, right? We're going to talk about capillary pressure today, but what do you think uh, would happen if, you, if we would have had capillary pressure? So this is, uh, remember, this is... Uh, sort of the saturation front, or the front, if we're, if we're uh, pumping in, in a 1D core, pumping water, or flowing water, uh, into oil, uh, where there's some residual saturation of water, um, which would be like 20% in this case, it develops this sharp front. However, if we had capillary f pressure, what do you think would happen? <coughs> yeah, there'd be some smoothing, right? Some, this wouldn't be so sharp, it would be more dispersive in the, sh in the front, right? And, um, you know, an another issue with trying to capture a sharp front like that in, in a reservoir simulator, in a numerical simulator, is that numerical simulators are, I mean, this, this is order to, to capture something that sharp, we need a, like, infinitely fine grid, right? So numerical simulators, specifically finite difference simulators are especially dispersive from the numeric. So you can have dispersion. So dispersion just means spreading out, right? If you have something sharp like that and it begins to spread out. Some of it can be physical, right? Um, in the sense that, like capillary pressure, but you can also have uh, dispersion that's numerical from the simulator. And so, you know, a lot of times when people might say, well, you know, we don't, we don't include capillary pressure, but the numerics give some dispersion. But it's sort of like, and, th and therefore, it all kind of comes out in the wash. But uh, two wrongs don't make a right. You know, the, you know the, the real problem has physical dispersion due to capillary pressure uh, and, and no numerical dispersion, right? There's no, there's no numerics in, in, in a real reservoir, right? So in certain... Um, you know, in certain EOR applications where, you know, you're really trying to understand the front as you're, you're pushing one fluid into another, uh, you know, it might be worthwhile to go to a more advanced numerical technique, uh, more advanced being not finite differences, like, like the finite element method or something more advanced that would give you less numerical dispersion. 